Hey, what's up, Zach here. And if you've heard about the Simona Halep doping scandal, chances are you're wondering what exactly rocks a dust stat is and what exactly does it do to an athlete to give them a competitive advantage. So let's get into it. Now, I'm not gonna get into the debate if it was intentional or not. I just wanna give you the information of what exactly this drug is. Now, Roxadustat or Roxadustat, depending on your dialect, is originally intended as an HIF-PH inhibitor, which treats anemia in patients with chronic kidney disease. And how it's originally designed to treat anemia in these patients with chronic kidney disease is it just basically beefs up the amount of red blood cells circulating through them, as well as increases the levels of hemoglobin in those red blood cells, which transmits oxygen into your blood. And patients with anemia usually have really high levels of fatigue, cognitive impairments or just generalized fogginess, and an inability to fight other infections that might come into their system. But another, let's call it off-label use of Roxadustat, is to get more oxygen and blood to your muscles. Now during aerobic exercise, which is pretty much anything after 90 seconds of exercise, you start getting into heavy oxygen demand. Well, if you are playing tennis against somebody else whose muscles are starving for blood and oxygen, well, their muscles aren't going to be working as efficiently or as hard as yours can if you are able to pump more oxygen into those muscles, which means you're going to have way more increased stamina, way more increased energy in the moment, as well as being able to recover that energy later on, even after the point is over, or you play a match and then you have another one the next day, your muscles are going to be able to recover that much faster. You know, compression socks almost kind of work on the same principle, get more blood flow to those muscles, which means your muscles are just soaking all that up, whereas somebody else that doesn't have that little kick in their circulatory system, they're not able to get all that oxygen in their blood, and therefore they're not able to recover as fast, and they're not able to use those muscle fibers in the moment as well either. And that's why a drug that's used to treat anemia and chronic kidney disease can also be a drug to increase athletic performance. And if you wanna see more of these quick explanations of medical events that are going on all around us, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. I'll see you in the next one.